Sergeant Robert Bales showed no apparent emotion as he admitted to a long litany of murder and mayhem perpetrated on a late-night rampage through two Afghan villages. When the judge asked why he killed 16 civilians, Bales hesitated for a moment, then replied, I've asked myself that question a million times since then. There's not a good reason in this world for doing the horrible things I did. On March 11, 2012, Bales, who was on his fourth combat deployment and had twice been wounded in action, allegedly drank alcohol with fellow soldiers and took prescription drugs and steroids. He was reportedly despondent over the state of his marriage. He crept out of the U.S. outpost in the Panjway district of Kandahar province. Bales went from house to house, shooting, stabbing, and clubbing members of civilian families in their homes. Most of the victims were women and children. In one home, an elderly woman fought with Bales in an apparent attempt to protect her family. He killed her. He set some of the bodies on fire. Eleven other Afghans were shot but survived. Bales answered, yes, sir, in a clear voice, as military court judge Colonel Jeffrey Nance asked him whether he was guilty of each charge. By pleading guilty and admitting to all of the charges, Bales will likely escape the death penalty. A separate hearing will be held in August to determine whether he will be sentenced to life with or without the possibility of parole. If Bale's lawyers convince a military jury to allow him the chance of release, well, um, his here, sentence could turn out to be surprisingly light. After serving 10 years of his sentence, he's eligible. There's no guarantee of, 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 of parole, obviously, but he will begin be in his eligibility for parole after ten, serving 10 years. Bales did not make any apology on Wednesday for his crimes. His lawyers say he will do so at a later date. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Joint Base Lewis-McChord, Washington.